Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's session, I'm going to give lecture about uh, the second process in the first unit of DJVC Foundation English 3. With the process uh, turning coal into diamonds. This prose was written by Craig Merriweather. Before uh, getting into the session, subscribe to the channel and uh, you will get the further updates about the upcoming lectures. Cray uh, has been struggling with depression for about uh, 25 years. He was uh, uh, completely broken at one point. Even he couldn't, uh, you know, accomplish with the plan for his suicide. So he has been suffering a lot for around 25 years. At one point, uh, he decided to turn the depression, the pains, into a useful thing. For a useful thing, he wanted to turn all these depressions which he has been, you know, uh, collecting. See, nobody had the hope that Craig can become such a successful person. But he became, he turned all his depression, all his pain into a useful things. Now, Craig is recognized as a leading expert in mind mastery and eliminating depression, creating deep happiness. See, that is because he learned how to turn those negative vibrations into positive uh, uh, you know achievements he also founded uh, that stress reduction program at the uh, northern arizona medical center's cancer center uh, there you know he speaks to uh, thousands of people every year and also presides workshops uh, in creating uh, lasting life uh, transformations so he has been able to do all this thing because he could turn all those uh, depression into a successful achievements, successful future. So he says uh, uh, in this prose, everyone will have, uh, of course, at one point they may have a depression in their life. Okay, they won't feel like to to, to go with the life. Uh, at one point, if they couldn't cope up with the life, if they couldn't able to manage the stress, they try to commit suicide. They'll try to you know uh, give up the things which they are holding. They will be uh, feeling like you know they are beaten down. So there. He says like, you know, what could be the reason? Okay, what could be the reason why they couldn't handle the pain, the stress, the, the failure, right? So there, the frustrations and sadness and anger. So these things can be used to build an amazing life for happiness and joy. He says, Craig says, he says it can be done through the science. It's a science. It's not like a philosophy. It's a science, he says. And he also quote the uh, second law of the thermodynamics or uh, law of uh, entropy. This is a, a kind of law which can make the chaos uh, into a beautiful progress. He, he gives an example for this. See, if you take of uh, the frying pan of the stove, what will happen? The heat. The heat will go away. It will get spread out. Then the pan will be cool, right? It will become heat only if you put it again on the stove, right? So he says there is no standing still. Nothing is immovable. Everything is either growing or dying. A any one action will be there. It will be growing or dying. Uh, going forward or moving back. So the same way we are actively working on developing ourselves and applying energy to our lives. So sometime, you know, we gradually diminish and lose our skills. So that particular time, we have to identify where we are going. Why can't we change these, uh, uh, you know, problems to make uh, as a useful future, right? Okay, sometime, you know, if you stay on a comfort zone and stop moving forward, we have to introduce the law of entropy into our lives. Crave wanted to endorse with the thought of uh, the uh, Nobel Prize winning scientist uh, Prigogine, P R I G O G I N E. Prigogine is a uh, you know Nobel Prize winning scientist. Crave wanted to accept the thought given by the scientist. What is that? See, this is only under great pressure the organisms uh, will reorder themselves and evolve. So this one is invented by uh, the Nobel Prize winning scientist Prigogain, right? So here, Craig wanted to take this thought. He wanted to practice the thought which is introduced by, invented by the scientist. See, why? Because, you know, uh, he, he says, if you put a normal organism or a compound in a closed environment and give a pressure, energy it will be in a big 
Kaya's divisions, but at one point somehow it wanted to pass its energy out. There it will automatically start a reorder. Then from there it will start to evolve. The organisms will start to evolve itself. So only when you give too much pressures. the scientist also said like you know this things can be happen only under the right condition you know uh, something like you know uh, this type of spectacular will happen okay because see things they, they do not fall apart okay they do not blow up they do not end in chaos so instead the organisms will actually reorder itself how it will happen it will evolve into a more complex structures so only through the structure only through the pressures it will learn to reorder itself using the pressure and coils of lives to move to a higher level of course see the pressure which you are getting it's to make us to move to the next level not just to end our life just because of this pressure just because of this depressions it doesn't mean that you have to end your life it means it will take you to the next level so without knowing these basic things today we could see a lot of young generations are committing suicides he also mentioned the life of cancer patients see before the cancer attack they may not live their life fullest they may not think uh, the day is a gift for us but if they are taking the treatment the cancer treatment after overcoming from the treatment they want to live every second fully they do not want to waste even a minute so every day will be gift for them see how the start comes to them how the start comes to them because they were given a pressure too much pressures they were put under a huge depressions so that made them to think like this he says like you know if uh, the things are not going the way you want in your life uh, this might be uh, the right point the challenges and problems are showing up because you are ready to move to the next level see certainly the uh, universe has composed a symphony of circumstances uh, and uh, the situations so that you know people can grow emotionally mentally and spiritually see the universe will provide you uh, with the uh, right pressures and stress for you to reorder yourself and move to the higher level why the universe is giving this type of you know pressure this amount of pressure and tensions because the universe is expecting you to reorder yourself and move to the higher level so the writer is asking us to find the anchor in a storm he's asking of course he is telling the people to find an anchor in the storm okay don't care about the storm which comes try to find an anchor in that okay this will only happen under the right condition he also very clear about it this will happen only under right conditions so the right condition exist when you support yourself mentally let any pressure comes to us me let any problem comes to us me i am ready to face that you need to have such a mental health and emotionally in a healthy right so this condition should be there and positive energy should be there enlightened manner should be there so these are the things a person should possess to maintain the right conditions if you maintain the right condition you will be ready to face any type of pressures any amount of depressions from there you can reorder your life that is what the other wanted to convey th- through this prose right see the depression anger limiting beliefs and unwanted emotions outdated programs conflicts frustrations and stress so these things are you know keeping the people from being something very important and resourceful these are the resourceful for the person's growth for the people's growth so these are the resourceful for the growth of the people for the growth of human being that people are failing to recognize some people that is why they are not ready to take their life to the next level and they commit suicide the source it's uh, where all things are originate only through a source so for everything we need to have a source so this is the source the depression is the source for us craig wanted to mention his mentor uh, uh, whose name is jim brit j i m b r i t t jim brit who says uh, he is the author of uh, the uh, the rings of truth so who discovered the true definition in a 500 year uh, old dictionary antique stores in that dictionary source was defined as one word which is love so the real definition for resourceful is is full of love so that is the place where all things can originate show love towards the people even if they are showing angry on you even if they are coming you know against you show love to us them that is the source for you so change can only occur if you are in resourceful environment on the inside so if you are full of love if you have full of love in so even during the depression even during the pressure situations 
there that will make you to put under right conditions and that will make you to reorder your life to reach the next level cray also mentioned uh, uh, albert einstein who said uh, see uh, the problem cannot be solved uh, from the same consciousness which was created that so how the problem was created if you stay on a same consciousness you cannot solve the problem whereas you have to learn to see the world new uh, how do you say that uh, you cannot create a new life with the same mindset that created the life you have now now you are in a depressions that one was created by some you know uh, negative vibrations but if you wanted to bring the solution for this you cannot expect the same way which created the depressions you have to look at the world newly you have to find a new things new way for that so there is a person called wayne dyer who also put it uh, who also says like when you change the way you look at the things the things you look at will change so change the way of your visions towards a particular incident towards a particular uh, persons if you change your visions the meaning of the things will be changed so it will be looking like how you expect so it's first to change your visions towards particular things so that is within you know all our raw materials required for you so everything is within the people within the mind of the people all the raw materials are there the thing is that we should be able to convert those problems into diamonds already uh, you have uh, raw materials within you try to learn the things to convert the coals into diamonds if you have ability to to do this you can live in a peace and happiness but you have got to stop walking the path of fear and struggles the fear and struggle these two enemies shouldn't come in your path you need to be careful these two enemies shouldn't walk on our path so people have to choose to become a resourceful once again full of love so here he says you need to find a way to remove your stuck emotions try to find a way to remove the emotions the stuck emotions for which what should i do resourceful has to be allowed the pressures and stress in your life to break through the other side what is the resourceful the love that will make you to break those uh, stress pressures right so if you do like this automatically you can reorder your life and you will shine there you will get a new meaningful life that made the writer to be strong as diamonds so the uh, writer says like the pressure which you are receiving the depression which you are receiving it is not to put us down but it will take you to the next level the higher level but you should be able to handle the pressure and stress depression in a right way right that to under right conditions so the resourceful for this love right so with this the pros get so well thanks for listening my lecture subscribe the channel if you have not yet subscribed the channel